what powers weather is very different depending on where you find yourself in the solar system. The Earth's atmosphere and the weather on Earth is, is driven largely by one thing, and that's the sun. And the sun pours its energy down through the atmosphere, and it hits the surface, and the surface of the Earth then warms up. With Earth, you've got all the energy coming in from the sun, heating up the surface, creating thermals that then, uh, then drive the atmospheric flows that we see. Somewhere like Saturn doesn't have a surface to be heated up. So when you compare the weather systems on these giant planets to those that we have on Earth, you have to sort of tear up the rule book a little bit. The sun is the great controller of Earth's atmosphere. But in the outer reaches of the solar system where Saturn lives, sunlight is 100 times weaker. It means some other heat source must be driving Saturn's incredible weather. As Cassini studied the cloud tops of Saturn, it was able to infer a huge amount about the truly strange world that must lie beneath, and the energy source that helps power this planet. We had a whole variety of scientific goals at Saturn, and one of the main ones was to understand the meteorology of the Saturn atmosphere and what energizes the winds that we see on it and so on. And we have affirmed now the belief that atmospheric systems on Saturn are actually powered by energy from below, from an internal heat source on Saturn. They're not powered by sunlight like we have on the Earth. Looking deep inside the planet, reveals a heat source shaped by extreme pressure. Within huge clouds of water, Cassini records lightning 10,000 times more powerful than any on Earth. This lightning transforms methane gas into enormous clouds of soot. At 8,000 kilometers deep, the pressure of the atmosphere is 80 times greater than that at the bottom of our deepest oceans. Enough to transform this graphite rain into diamonds. But even these diamonds are likely destroyed by the pressures of Saturn eventually dissolving. Thirty thousand kilometers down, and Saturn's heat source is revealed. Here, pressures are so intense that the atmosphere behaves like a liquid metal able to conduct electricity. In this state, molten helium falls like rain. And as it merges with the surrounding material, kinetic energy is released as incredible amounts of heat. And it's this extraordinary heat source that helps drive Saturn's weather. <laughs> 